friends. So this is my series where I take you through my marathon training for the Chicago Marathon on October 10th with the goal of breaking 348. Oh, I forgot to charge my headphones last night, so no music for me today. Anyway, it's Sunday, so just running 35 minutes. Legs are a little tired this morning because Yesterday I ran 13, my husband's birthday, and we did a lot of walking. Something else that Gavin wanted me to try doing more is fasted runs. So that's basically not, not eating anything before a run. So I told him, okay, I'll try that with the Sunday runs because they're shorter. So that's what I'm doing today. Although I did have some pre-workout before I went for my run. So I don't know if that actually counts as a fasted run, but I need caffeine in the morning before I go on my run. So that's what I did. And feeling pretty okay. Finish my run. I'm currently in the cool down phase. So I guess I'll just recap the run. Felt pretty good. Achilles felt a little stiff for a smile. That's okay. I think once I got warmed up, it got better. As far as the not eating before, I didn't feel like hungry or anything. And the reason that Gavin wants me to start doing fasted runs is because eventually over time, my body will become more adapted to using fat for fuel. Not to like go into ketosis or anything, but just because the cruise runs are done at a much lower intensity it shouldn't necessitate taking in carbs and Gavin always told me fuel for the work required so thereby meaning for higher intensity workouts um, that's when I should be taking in carbs that way I don't completely crash but for the other runs that I do which is the cruise runs which is in the green zone or zone one I shouldn't really need to take in any fuel or anything so I think by starting out with the shorter runs, it should be easier for me to adapt to doing runs after an overnight fast. So feeling pretty good about today's run. Um, so the next two weeks are gonna be very intense cause it's just straight running. Just I'm running, I think Sunday through th Thursday or Friday. I, anyway, I get like one rest day this week cause Gavin wants to do a really quick progressive build up over the next two weeks and then do a recovery week and then i think we have another phone call sometime this month so then we'll talk about the training plan after that it's gonna be a very interesting next two weeks let me tell you that much anyway i'll see you guys tomorrow Alrighty. good morning it's monday 55 minutes on the docket today and second day that i'm doing the fasted running luckily i had pasta last night so definitely have enough fuel stored from the night before to help me for this run we'll see how this goes i mean i think this is the longest run that i'm gonna do fasted if my memory serves me right so it's beautiful outside nice and sunny i shouldn't have worn this really dark tank top but that's okay let's go for a run y'all so far on my run today it's a beautiful day unfortunately I don't think I can film them without it being weird so you'll have to take my word for it <laughs> stair break oh my god so about 12 minutes left this has felt really easy which is weird because it's hot but that's where I'm at right now okay yeah I know my heart rate's high calm down that's why I'm walking done 6.4 miles in the bag i think on the schedule it said 5.8 but i actually ran 6.4 which is pretty sweet my average pace like during the run itself not counting in the warm-up and the cool down because those definitely sort of shift the average pace my pace was around 1002 which is pretty good yeah i think it must have been the pasta that helped with my run because I feel pretty solid for the most part, so good way to start off the week. I have my first hit session tomorrow. I'm already not looking forward to it, but we're gonna get through it together, or I'm gonna get through it, and you're gonna watch me suffer, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's Tuesday. I haven't even gotten out of the car yet, and my stomach is already in knots about this workout. So um, this is the first of the HIT workouts that Gavin has me doing for this training block. The first time I did this when I was training with Gavin last year, it was not exactly fun because it takes a while for my heart rate to like calm down and then having to get it spiked back up is pretty difficult. So yeah, <laughs> if you wanna check out how 
I did I fared with the first time doing these hit workouts go check out my Instagram um, there's a little highlights thingy my bobber with R&R &R training and you'll find it there so you're not sure how much footage I'll be able to get today because it looks like I need to empty my SD card so yeah let's just skip to the workout Okay, about halfway done it's not as bad as I remember it being probably because I did the reverse pyramids for the past like three weeks so my heart rate is acclimated to being up in zone three <sighs> okay workout is done that actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be what was really funny was that I think I went out too fast because I was sub seven for the first three three minute sessions and then I was a little bit above seven minute pace for the last three so you know I think next time I won't go out so fast but overall I'm really proud of myself for not dying the other thing that I think helped was that I kept looking at trees and garbage cans I thought, okay just get to that tree or get to the garbage can because that was a really good distraction for me because that way I wasn't looking at my watch like oh my god what am I gonna be done I think I'm doing the same thing next week, so I'm gonna try and refine how I go out for these three minute sessions. Gavin has me doing seven miles tomorrow, which is really kind of pushing it on a weekday, but I think I found a way to make it work because tomorrow is global running day and I got a surprise for you guys tomorrow. You have to tune in to find out. See you then. Wednesday it is actually global running day, which is very exciting because this is the first time that my running club is doing an actual group run together in like over a year so I'm very excited unfortunately Gavin has me running like seven miles today so I'm gonna have to start early um, and get a couple miles under my belt before we actually meet up so that's what I'm gonna do and then you get to meet the rest of my crew it's gonna be a good time like 8.6 miles. I think even the 7.7, .7, that was really pushing it for a weekday only because I have to work and taking into account. Uh, the group run tonight, I thought I had run two miles prior to the run. It turns out I didn't. And then I ended up doing five with the group and I still had to run extra like on my own once we were done. Um, probably shouldn't have pushed so hard on the run because I think I got caught up in the excitement of running with the group again. And I was like in my threshold pace for the first like half of it. So that was not fun. Um, I did slow down at the end and that felt pretty good. So I'm really happy that I'm running with the club again because it's been kind of hard running with just like five of us. Um, they are capping the runs at about 30 people, which is totally cool. And yeah, it was a really good day. Yeah. Happy Global Running Day. See you guys tomorrow. Uh, wait, just kidding. Tomorrow's rest day. So I'll see you guys Friday. <laughs> Alrighty, good morning. It's Friday. So not only it would be a rest day, but on the schedule that Gavin has me on for the next two weeks, I'm actually running on Friday. So um, we have friends coming over after work. We're all at the point that we're all fully vaccinated. Anyway, I want to spend time with them. So I'm actually run commuting today to work. Um, I'm eventually going to make a separate video about that. But for now, let's just get out the door because I'm actually kind of running a little late. So let's go. Run is done, about 
0.07 miles. I did this run fasted and I felt pretty okay. Stomach sort of growling towards the end, but it's okay because I'm about to eat some breakfast. Yeah, I think the main thing with run commuting is prepare your stuff the night before and like I mentioned before, I'll make another video about this. But anyway, um, I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna go down to the locker room, shower, and then eat breakfast and then go to work. And it feels pretty good to get my run done <laughs> so early in the morning. So I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> morning, it's Saturday. Oh, obviously very different weather than last week. But this is kind of nice. I was gonna meet up with my friends for the group run. I thought I'd give myself enough time to run to my wife from my house, and I didn't. I just texted my friend, hey, don't wait up for me, I'll catch up. So 17.4 miles. If you're gonna try and get the first bit done on my own, that way I won't have to run the whole thing with my friends. Okay, let's go for a run. realized that I totally forgot to film yesterday and recap my run so I'm gonna do that right now so I think I ran I think it was like 18 something miles which is that's long <laughs> I feel like it's a little bit early to be doing that as far as marathon training because it is June and Chicago is in October but thinking about it since Gavin does typically three weeks of build-up and then recovery is kind of like this that so maybe it's not that much of a stretch um overall the run felt pretty okay as far as energy i was in the green zone for a good majority of it i did kind of spike up once we got to the hills but that's just hills for you um as far as the fasted part so i was feeling pretty okay until about like an hour into the run and i did take a gel um and then my legs got really tired around, I would say mile, like mile 15, just they had nothing left. So I ended up taking down some Scandinavian swimmers and that sort of helped. So overall, the week was pretty good. Very rapid buildup. I ran, I think almost 50 miles and I haven't done that obviously since the last time I trained for a marathon. So I think marathon training plus having to scrub like most of the week that <laughs> just that combination just wasn't ideal but that's just life you just gotta deal with stuff that comes at you i think next week i have another progressive week and then i have a recovery week so a little bit of a shorter training block this time around which is kind of surprising but gavin has something cooking for me uh i have to schedule a call with him some point next week i think i'm gonna try and do it tuesday We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, if you got to the end of the video and you want to keep following me on my journey to Chicago, you know what to do at this point. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Bye!